Today we're gonna to learn how to make our absolute favorite cheesecake. For the crust of the cheesecake, we have 11 graham crackers, a fourth a cup of melted butter, and for the cheesecake, we have five box of cream cheese and a half a cup of sour cream. We also have three eggs, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, um, three tablespoons of flour, and one fourth of a teaspoon of stevia. Okay, and I just wanted to tell you about some substitutions that we do. You could also, instead of the stevia, you could use a cup of sugar or a cup and a third of sugar. But whenever I was looking for ways to make our desserts a little healthier, I tried it with the stevia and it's wonderful. Uh, you can also, if you want to make it gluten-free, you don't have to use um, graham crackers. We, you can use gluten-free animal cookies. I've done that many, many times and it's just as good. And you can exchange this flour for a gluten-free flour or a, even a protein powder. Step one, preheat the oven to 325. Step two, crush the graham crackers using a blender or a food processor. Then add butter to the blender. Next, pour crackers into a nine inch spring form pan and press. Beat cream cheese only on medium high for two minutes. Don't overbeat. Blend in stevia and flour. Beat until combined. On low speed, beat in eggs one at a time. Add sour cream and vanilla. Beat just until blended. Next, pour the filling over the crust into the pan. In order to prevent cracking of your cheesecake, you can make a water bath. You can do that with a piece of foil onto a jelly roll pan. Put your foil in, put the cheesecake on top, centered on the foil. Make sure your foil comes up. Bring up the foil as much as you can, and then you're gonna pour hot or boiling water into the section on the side. The final step is to top with your favorite fruit. Voila!